Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Dojo. I'm your host, Tom Carroll. Today we've got a special three-in-one episode. We'll learn how to make brioche dough and we'll turn that into buns for hamburgers or dinner rolls. And then also we'll create coils, wrap it around a bratwurst, et voila, you have bratwurst in a brioche blanket. I wanna thank my friend Joanne for suggesting this particular episode and for Backwards Bakery in St. Cloud, Minnesota, who's fueling Joanne's love of brioche buns and inspiring this show. This is an intermediate level baking project, about a blue belt. And the reason for that is the amount of kneading required to get the butter into the dough. Now, there are different levels of richness of brioche doughs. This is the lowest level. So it has about 20% of the flour weight is butter. And there are some that go all the way up to almost a, almost 100%. That's a crazy rich brioche dough. And this one is at the lower end, but still it requires a lot of kneading to get it to work. I would use a stand mixer to do the work, to do the kneading for you. If not, it's gonna take you about a half an hour by hand to knead vigorously. It's quite a workout. Or you can use that stand mixer and it will take you about 12 minutes. The recipe takes from mixing to getting it into your mouth three and a half to four hours. Are you ready? Let's get baking. We'll start by making the brioche dough and the sponge for the dough, which is the yeast mixture. To the stand mixing bowl, we add a half a cup of unbleached bread flour, two teaspoons of instant yeast, whisk that together, and a half a cup of whole milk that's been warmed between 98 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I just took it out of the refrigerator, put it in a cup, microwaved it for 15 seconds. Then we are going to cover and rest this for about 45 minutes so the yeast can do their thing. They'll wake up and get something to eat. And lo and behold, we have the sponge. You can see it's named the sponge because it looks like a sponge. It has bubbles and it's all jiggly. If I bang it on the surface, you notice the bubbles pop. Now we're going to make the dough. We add four large room temperature eggs. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And finally, one and a quarter teaspoons of fine sea salt. Then we're going to mix this up really well. Brioche gets its yellow color from the eggs. And some eggs are very yellow, so the brioche will be much yellower due to the color of the eggs. Next, we'll attach the bowl to the mixer. Add some unbleached bread flour. So I have three and a quarter cups, but I'll only add about a half of that. And start by mixing on low. And now we're just getting the flour mixture and the eggs to come together. And just take a couple of minutes and then you'll start to see that the flour is being absorbed. And after about five minutes and adding all of the flour, we'll scrape down the sides and then you have a mass of dough here. You want to start by adding about a third of the butter and cut it into the dough and put the mixer on and I'm going to turn the speed up to medium here and I'll mix until the butter disappears. It's absorbed and you'll see the sides start to become cleaner and once it's absorbed, I'll scrape down the sides a bit. Mix a little more till it absorbs. Then I'll add some more butter once it's absorbed. You see how clean the sidewalls are. Add the butter, put it up to medium speed. And pretty soon the butter will be absorbed. It takes quite a while. It took about uh, 12 minutes or so to get to that point. And you'll see the dough is quite smooth. The sides of the mixer are 
clean and I did added a couple more minutes of mixing to get that dough just silky smooth. So the total mixing time was about 14 minutes. Next we want to take this nice smooth dough ball out and roll it across the counter so that we can create a tot ball. Then we'll put a little spray oil in the mixing bowl and on the dough ball. And we'll cover it with some plastic wrap and let it rest for about an hour and a half. And we come back and it looks like this. It's risen more than almost double its size. It's a nice big ball. Now we flatten out this ball into a disc and we're going to cut it like a pizza. First in half and then we'll cut it in quarters and then we'll cut each of the quarters in half and we it yields about eight buns. And we're going to make little dough balls now. We take the triangle and we fold up the edges, then we put the seam side down onto the counter and cup our hand. So I fold up the edges, put the seam side down, cut my hand over it and roll it across the counter. And the friction of the flourless counter allows the dough ball to become smooth and round. This is such an important skill to have. I'm going to show this to you in high speed just so that you can get a feel for it. Use this in making pizza. Anytime you want to make a ball out of your dough. So we're just folding up the edges pinching them together, putting them seam side down on the counter, cupping our hand around the dough ball and rolling. And it comes together. Look how smooth those are. They're nice and uniform in size. I'll put them on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And I have eight of them here. I'm going to cover them with plastic wrap and let them rest in a place where there's not a breeze for at least an hour. And I'm going to preheat the oven at this time to 375 degrees. So here's after an hour. And look at those beauties. They're all puffed up. I'm going to wash them with some egg and milk. And that gives them a nice shine. Now I'll put them on the middle rack of the oven, 375, for 15 to 20 minutes. These took about 16 minutes. Next we'll make the bratwurst in a blanket. We start with an already risen dough ball and we're going to cut it up into eight sections. And again, we'll use the same strategy. We'll cut it like a pizza. We cut it in half, then in quarters, and we cut each of the quarter pieces in half. This is done rather awkwardly, but I hope you get the point. And we do our best to make sure they're close to the same size. This time, I'm going to squeeze each of those into a tube and then hold the ends and slap them up and down on the counter. That's the same technique you use to make noodles, very large noodles. So I'll pull it apart, slap it on the counter, and stretch it. I'm making each of those strands about 20 inches. It's a pretty simple technique. I only had seven brats, so I didn't use all of the dough, and I made an extra dough ball with it. There's enough in this recipe to actually make between 10 and 12 brats in a blanket. Now I'm going to take the pre-cooked bratwurst and I'm going to flour them. So this is so that the, the dough will stick to the, to the brat. Just flour them, and next I'm going to poke each of the bratwurst with a fork so that they can vent. 
and they won't blow up. And now we start by wrapping them and you just coil them. You pinch it at the end and then just twirl it around and roll it up. Roll the dough up onto the bratwurst. It's really pretty simple. You're going to have some extra dough at the end in some cases and what I do is just pinch that off and set it aside because at the end we'll have enough to make one or two more rolls for the bratwurst. I'll put it on a parchment lined sheet pan as I go. Here's another example. I roll another one. It's really pretty simple to get the hang of this. There they are, and I'm gonna cover them. They're going to rise again, like we do with the buns. So they, ha they go for a second rise. I cover them for about a half an hour, preheat the oven to 375. I'm going to wash these with an egg wash again. It's one egg and a tablespoon of milk, and then I'll sprinkle some sesame seeds on the top. I like that, it's a nice touch. They go into the preheated oven for 15 to 18 minutes. You just gotta watch them. And here they are. After cooling these for a few minutes, you can cut them up and serve them right away. Or you can put them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and then pull one out and one minute in the microwave on high, it's perfectly done. Now you have two savory options for your brioche dough. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I'd love to know how your brioche dough turned out. What did you do? Did you do the bratwurst or did you do the buns? Do you have any questions? Please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week in the dojo.